Let us now explore integer multiplication, especially when we have more than two integers. In this example, we'll have three. Let us multiply these integers and check our result. First question is plus three times plus two times plus four. All are positive. When you multiply positive numbers, you always get a positive number. So we get a positive number. That's the sign of the integer and let's multiply the numbers now 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 times 4 is 24 and therefore the result is 24 now let's do the next one it is minus times plus now these are opposite signs and so they become negative now again if I multiply negative with positive again they are opposite signs so we get negative result so we'll write negative now let's multiply the numbers. 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 times 4 is 24. So we get minus 24 this time. Now let's check the sign. Plus times minus is minus and minus times minus will give us plus, right? So we'll get a positive integer and the value of this integer is 3 times 5 as 15 and 15 times 3 as 45. So we get 45 positive. The last one here is minus times minus times minus. Now negative times negative that is when you multiply same sign you should get positive. So this result is going to be positive. Now positive with negative opposite sign will give us negative answer right and the value should be 2 times 2 4 4 times 3 12. So we get negative answer. Now it is important to note that we could actually get this sign by counting negative integers. Now in this case we have how many negative integers? We have three right? In this case how many negative integers? We have two. Here how many negative integers? We have one and in this case how many negative integers? None right? Zero. Now as you can see we got negative sign for these two cases when the negative number of integers were 1 and 3 that is to say odd numbers and in these cases we got positive results these are even numbers so therefore we can conclude that if we multiply odd number of integers right then what is the result you get negative result. Do you see that? But if you multiply even number of integers, then the result is always positive. So that is the key. So when you start doing multiplication for more than two integers, just count the negative integers. Here, 0, so positive, 1, 1 is an odd number, negative, 1, 2, 2 is even number, positive, 1, 2, 3, 3 is odd number and therefore a negative result. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.